Hello friends, this is Pratik Sana from Alt News. In this video, we will see how to backtrace a picture that you might have received on WhatsApp or Facebook. This tutorial is especially important if you are a mainstream media organization and you are planning to run a picture that you just received on WhatsApp as a prime time story. Also, if you are genuinely concerned about the amount of fake images that are floating around on the internet and if you want to find the origin of such images then you can use the techniques shown in this video to do so. On the screen we can see two pictures that have been tweeted by Republic TV in which they claim that uh, these, are pic these are undated pictures that show Robert Wadra and Rahul Gandhi with a Chinese envoy. Times Now also sent out a similar tweet claiming to have access to an unverif unverified photo of Rahul Gandhi posing with Chinese anywhere. Times now goes on to show the same picture that Republic TV sh showed on their Twitter account in their news show. Republic TV calls the picture an undated picture, while Times now calls this picture an unverified picture. We'll see as part of this video how it is neither an undated picture nor an unverified picture and how 5 minutes of Google search can save channels like Republic and Times Now from much embarrassment. So let's first open the picture. Uh, this is the picture that uh, these two channels must have received because that is the picture they later on show on their TV channels. So this is the picture. This is a complete picture. As you can see what Republic TV has done is that they have cropped the picture into two parts. Uh, they have taken out the left hand portion with Rahul Gandhi and the right hand portion with uh, Priyanka Gandhi and Robert Wadra and posted it as two pictures while originally it was one single picture. Now how do you find the origins of this picture? So uh, we are in Google Chrome browser and uh, you know you open the picture in the browser, you right click on the picture and click on this search Google for image. This is an inbuilt function into Chrome. Uh, there is a similar extension for Firefox also and I'll, I'll put a link to that in my post. So you click on search Google for image and uh, Google has a reverse search mechanism where you know if you give it a picture it can you know it will look within its database whether it has seen that, seen that picture in the past or not. And this also works for videos because in case of videos, um, Google tends to index a lot of snapshots from videos. But for this post, we will concentrate solely on images. So we see that this picture has been posted several times in the past few days. But what we are interested in is whether this picture was posted uh, anywhere before Republic and Times Now ran their shows. So. To find that out, we'll, you know, you see these tools on the top right, we'll go there and we'll click on the time filter. This time filter essentially helps you to narrow down a particular search query within a particular time frame. You know, you don't want to, uh, if you want to search within a specific date range, then you can use this filter. So. Uh, we basically go to custom image. There are various options if you, you know, whether the picture has been posted in the past hour, past 24 hours, past week, past month, past year and so on. But for this, for the purpose of this post, we want a custom range. So we want to check if this has been posted before 18th July, which is when Time Snow and Republic ran the show. So uh, this box, the from box will keep it as empty because in this case we are not concerned about the initial date you know it could have been as old as 2016-2015 we'll see how old it is during the course of this video but we essentially we are not concerned about the start date what we are concerned about is the end date so uh, since they ran the show on 18th July we want to see if this picture is available before 17th July or not so we click on 17th and we click on go Right, so again we see various images, uh, you know, we see the thumbnails. Uh, let's go to page number two. So on page number two of the search results, we interestingly see that 
this same picture is possibly there on the Chinese embassy website. So we open the Chinese embassy website. And yeah, the picture is there on the Chinese embassy website. Google is offering, you know, the text is in Chinese. So Google is offering to translate it for you. So let's click on translate. So yeah, so Google has translated the text now. And it seems that the vice president of the Congress party was attending a Chinese food festival. Now, was this an exclusive invite for Mr. Rahul Gandhi to the Chinese food festival? Or were others also invited, other dignitaries in the Indian political ecosystem? So the easy way to find out is, you know, Google for it. So we'll highlight that and we'll search for this food festival. And uh, we see, you know, the images are from 21st April 2017. We see a Business Standard article which refers to the same food, food festival. And it says that the food festival is going on in Taj Palace and it is still April 22nd. So uh, this is a genuine food festival that is going on and which Rahul Gandhi apparently attended. So was this attended by anybody else in the Indian political ecosystem? So again, we use this, you know, we go back to tools and we use this time filter. Now we know that the images are, you know, dated prior to May 2017. So in, now we use a different time filter. We, what we do is we go to April and we say show me all the search results for April 30th 2017 so the first thing itself we see that it is a link from Chinese Embassy and let's try opening it and we see that this is dated 14th April 2017 and for the same Chinese food festival uh, Suresh Prabhu, Sitaran Yachuri, K.C. Tyagi, Mahindra Prasad, Udit Raj. So people from different parties have been invited. And let's look up Mr. Suresh Prabhu. This is this food festival. Let's, let's look at the images. And you'll see that there's a image of Mr. Suresh Prabhu attending the said festival. So the same food festival has been attended by the Indian Railway Minister as well as the Congress Vice President as well as members of other parties. So the obvious question is why would two national channels on their respective primetime shows take up a political leader from one particular party and portray it as an exclusive hush hush meet, whereas it was a general gathering where political leaders from all the parties were invited and they attended the said food festival? Thank you.